Welcome back to my channel. You're watching HQ BMW and my name is Jeff. So as you can see behind me, we're back working on the F30 finally. So today we are going to make a front splitter. I took the front bumper off already. It took like 20 minutes at the most to take off. Um, if you guys want to know how to take your front bumper off, I can make a video on it. Comment below and I'll make a video on how to take off your front bumper. Today we're going to cut out this front splitter, get it shaped, and then hopefully installed. So keep watching if you want to know how to make your own custom front splitter. So we have the front bumper off and it's sitting on this carbon fiber pressed ABS plastic. I've got the bumper sitting in the middle of this sheet. And what I'm gonna do is actually take a pen. I made this block 3.5 inches. I'm gonna take a white charter marker and trace this front bumper. But first, let's get this taped off and protected. Okay, so it's too cold for the tape to actually stick to the front bumper, so I taped up the block. And now, we're just gonna trace the front bumper like that. Keep watching and I will get this cut out, but I need both hands. All right, I got it traced out, nice and even. And I left some edges so we can do little side fins. And then on the inside, I traced it out under here under here and then I left these three tabs as long as well as these corner tabs so that I can mount the XK glow lighting strips on here so I'm gonna take the bumper off and I'm going to use my trusty skill saw cut this out we will smooth it down with a uh, sander and then we can install it. I will save you guys your time and not have to watch me cut this all out. We'll just do a quick time lapse right now. And there's the finished product, all trimmed out, ready to go. I left the lines here so I know where to set the bumper again. I have an old form block back from when I was an aircraft structures technician. So I'm going to heat this up to get the plastic warm and then we will fold it up. We'll do both sides.
there we go We've got some little bends put in both sides so I've piloted the holes and matched it up to the bottom of the bumper but I had to make sure I put these holes in so I can get this bolt back in which holds the bumper on so I did that on both sides and now we can put this back onto the bottom of the bumper and screw it on so I got these Clico Clicos holding the splitter on and I've just started running in some self-tapping bolts and I only got the silver ones but I don't think you'll be able to see it once it's on the bumper and the car's laying on the ground uh, yeah I doubt people are going to be looking for that but I'll get the rest of the bolts put in here and then we will move to fitting the rods we got the splitter on and now I wanted to mount these however as you can see they're not long enough so I thought maybe I could put it in I could put them in here like this but I think if if I ever want to take this splitter off and if I put the holes up in here then you wouldn't see it if I ever took this off so I think I'm going to stop here and just see if I can get longer ones of these and then I can continue with this hopefully I can get these in time before show season there's the front splitter installed hopefully that helps you guys be able to make one yourself and how to install it and cut it and shape it out I am gonna order the longer rods if I have to I'll order some aluminum tubing and some threaded rod and just make them myself if I have to and then just wrap the rods in the color that I want or paint them either or uh, should be fairly simple uh, but I'm gonna try and order them first so Here's what the final product is basically going to look like. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe, and peace.